Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to talk to you about this 2012 Lexus GS 350. It's a sports luxury and it's champagne in colour with cream leather interior. It's absolutely beautiful. It's in immaculate condition. It's got the two original remote keys and every single service done on this car has been done at a Lexus dealership. It's got memory electric driver's seat. As a warning on the dash, tell me I've got a window open. You've also got a reverse camera, navigation, dual zone climate control, and heated and air-conditioned seats just behind here. Which is great. There's your navigation. You put in reverse. You've got a reverse camera. It's done 114,000 kilometres since it was brand new. And you certainly wouldn't know it from looking at it. It's absolutely beautiful. Every panel, every wheel, the leather is in excellent condition. Um, I've owned a couple of Lexus GS's. I've owned the first one as well, which came out in 1997, which was a great car. Probably the only problem with the earlier ones is, uh, despite having the very nice three litre straight six, they used a lot of fuel. When they went to the V6, it was a, a far superior engine in terms of its fuel consumption. It's rear wheel drive, so you know if you've got a Lexus or if you're looking at this car, people say, oh look, it's just a Toyota, it's just a Camry. Um, I'd take that as a compliment. I think Toyota make some of the most reliable cars on the planet. And a Lexus is essentially a better Toyota. But there are a number of differences which I think should be noted, like uh, the Lexus GS 350 is a rear wheel drive. It's not a front wheel drive like the Camry. They have different timbers, different quality of leather. Even the paint is different. And the leather on this car is absolutely beautiful. It does have a sunroof as well. It's got the very nice multi-spoke alloy wheels. Um, as I said earlier, every single service on this car has been done at Lexus and I've found Lexus to be good with my cars. Fair and reasonable. Huge boot space. It's got the warning triangle there. It's got a space saver spare. Um, but it is good that it has a space saver. A lot of cars don't have anything at all. Um, you would have seen the reverse camera as well. The colour is beautiful. The colour combination really is nice. So if you look around, you'll find most of these Lexus GSs are, are grey and silver. So it's very, very nice. I certainly wouldn't be worried about the kilometres. With Lexus, it's really all about how they're looked after. You could find a car with 60 or 70,000 kilometres, which has only had a couple of services since new. And I can tell you now that's not going to be a great car. Whereas something like this, which was serviced up to date, its last service was in fact in February 2018 is a very good car. Someone's really looked after it, taken good care of it. It's got a very nice timber steering wheel. Someone told me a few years ago that the the timber in these Lexuses isn't, a, isn't just real, it's from, it's Yamaha timber apparently from Mount Fiji, or maybe it was a particular Lexus model. But uh, you know, they certainly take their cars very seriously. And uh, what I've always, what I personally liked about Lexus to get all the options and extras, and the look that you get from a European car with the absolute reliability of uh, Toyota. Another thing I mentioned, which was also on my first GS. The brakes, 
it's got huge brakes you'll find they're also different to you know your Toyota equivalent uh, it's got daytime running lights xenon headlights front parking sensors rear parking sensors keyless entry keyless start and I don't think it's going to last very long it really needs to be seen to be appreciated I guess it's hard for me to get across to you how good this car really is in terms of its condition uh, the logbook you've seen the photos sometimes people say you know they'll look at the photos they oh there's it doesn't look like it's been serviced it's just got dates there is a stamp but it's embedded in the paper it's it's not a uh, ink stamp so to speak Bluetooth obviously um, I have driven a number of uh, this series of Lexus GS and the 350 I think is the best the 250s are okay but you know a little bit underpowered and the difference in fuel consumption is minimal especially on the open road but it's a very impressive car from every angle and if you have any specific questions about it can you please give us a call we're contactable on 029569 we can help you with finance we're only 15 to 20 minutes from Sydney Airport and I'd certainly look forward to taking you for a test drive and showing you this beautiful GS 350